Shalom, Israel. I want to start off, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who teach and rule well at Great Millstone, and peace and salutations and peace and mercy to the 144,000 hopeful elect, the prophets, and to the uh, men and women of the 12 lost tribes of Israel, to uh, Latinos, so-called Latinos, Negroes, and Native American Indians. Shalom. Going to go into this lesson today, and we're going to title this one, the, the Lord is a Man of War. You know, the Lord is a man of war. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So we're gonna hop, you know, we're gonna we're gonna hop right into this. And because World War Three is coming. The first woe pass, the second woe pass, and the third woe pass. Or Salakia, the first woe pass. And the second will pass. And the third will come quickly. You know, through all um, the mandates of the Yab. You know, people losing their jobs. You know, people dying from these pestilence. You know, mandating stuff in school and, you know, Prices of food going up and famine coming and oil spills and the list goes on. But through all that, the Lord is a man of war. And he wants war. So let's let's hop right into the, uh, the scripts. The scriptures. So we're going to go to. Um, we're going to go to Exodus 15. Exodus 15 and 3. Exodus 15 and 3. And it reads. The Lord is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. See, the Lord is, he's a man of war. He, you, there's no joking around him. And the son, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. They, they have a spirit on them. That is very a spirit of a, a, a warrior, a, a battle. Ain't no laughing, ain't no joking, ain't no playing around Yahweh and Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Very, very, very serious. A man of war. You know, people say, oh, he's a man of love and you know, but it's telling you right here who Yahweh and who the son and the father is. Who ultimately the father, Yahweh. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. A man of war, serious. Let's go to uh, 4, 15 and Exodus 15 and 4 to let you know just as far as um, Yahweh and Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is they're a, a man of war battle what they did to Pharaoh you know when Israel was coming out of Egypt you know trying to get to it to the Israelites trying to get to us For Pharaoh's chariots and his host hath he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned 
in the Red Sea. And if you go on, you know, YouTube, you can pull up the footage and these archaeologists, you know, they they've went down into the rest and you could still see um, Pharaoh and the chariots, uh, the chariots still down there. Pieces of, uh, you know, the chariot sticking up, you know, stuck in the, in, in, in the ocean floor down there. You can still see it. The Lord is a man of war. You don't play with Yahweh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You don't play with the son and father. He will kill you. The father doesn't deal with flesh and blood. Yahweh doesn't deal with flesh and blood. If he did, he would kill everybody. Yahweh, the father. But Yahweh by Shem Shai is coming back down here and he's going to set things up. He's setting it up right now. There are men of war. You don't play with them. There's a very serious, serious spirit on them. You don't laugh and joke and mock. And these people, you know, they don't, they think that they can do whatever they want. You think that you can just dictate and tell, you know, Yahweh and the Father what, what you want to do? And Lord doesn't care nothing about, you know, your celebrities, your cars, your money, your house, your status. He does not care. The man of war and he wants war. Let's go to Romans 2 and 11. On that Romans 2 and 11. The Lord don't he do you. We have to respect him. You can't do nothing to the Lord. You can't do nothing. What are you going to do to him? People got it all mixed up. The Lord don't care nothing about the Kobe Bryant's, you know, and, and uh, uh, um, the Jay-Z's, all that status. He don't care nothing about that. You don't care nothing. These celebrities that you that the world praises and looks up to, they're they're nothing to the Lord. And I'm gonna show you that right now. Romans, Salakia, Romans two and eleven. For there is no respect of a person of Salakia. For there is there for there is no respect of person with. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. There's no respect. He doesn't respect nobody. We have to respect him. Just like it says, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. The world is going to fear Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. They're going to fear him. They're going to fear Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. He's a man of war. All your celebrity status or whatever status you think that you have in this world, it do, it's going to go out the window. And especially if it's not of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. If it ain't glorifying Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, it don't mean nothing. And you people in this world are going to find out real soon here. I'm going to read it again. Romans 2 and 11. For there is no respect of person with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And, you know, the Lord, he, 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 you know, he deals with men, men. The Lord ain't dealing with no women like that. 
women aren't they're not here for bat, you know for for the battlefield for battle all the disciples and all the prophets were men men women were, were here to give birth and take care of their kids that's that that's what they were here for to bear kids and to and to and to help their man their husband all this extra stuff that Esau Edom has brought into the world is went totally against Yahweh by Shemuel and this in the in the commandments you women are going to find out how serious this thing is the Lord is a man of war and he deals with men men let's go to Ezekiel 34 and um Ezekiel 34 34 31 Ezekiel 34 and 31 the Lord deals with men in this book and these like I said these prophets and these decided these the the, the uh, disciples they're men the Lord is raising up men. That 144,000 is of men. Ezekiel 34 and 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men. He's dealing with men. He's raising up men out of that tabernacle of David, that 144,000. There's no women in there. Oh, Salakia. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your power, Seth, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. He's dealing with men. The Lord, he's not dealing with no women like that. If he, women trying to go out there and, and to the highways and hedges and trying to be pastors and, and the Lord's not do, dealing with that. Because men would be trying to, if men seen some of these women out there on the highways and hedges and, you know, and, and preaching and stuff like that. Men be having different thoughts trying to figure out, you know, sizing them up. You know, they wouldn't be into, they wouldn't, they wouldn't care nothing about this word. They wouldn't care nothing about this word. They be trying to, to you know, look and see how sexy, you know, the woman is. So let's go to, uh, so the Lord's dealing with men. Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah 40. We'll go, we'll go. The Lord, the Lord, is de- he's a man of war and he's dealing with men. Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nation are as a drop of a bucket. You see that? You nations, he's telling you, Yahabai Shemel, Yahabai Shemel to, to Ishmael, to you Japanese, to you Chinese, to you so-called Caucasian, Esau, Edom. You know, and the rest of you nations. The Lord is saying, he's telling you, behold, the nations, the nations are as a drop of a bucket you know what a drop of a bucket is? That's nothing. 
and and are counted as the small dust of the balance. It's getting the scale and putting just a piece of dust on the on on the balance of the scale. It's nothing. Behold, he taketh up the isles as very a very little thing. It's nothing. This is Isaiah 40 and 15. So we'll, we'll jump down to 17. All nations before him are as nothing. This is what it, this is why the Lord said he's not a respect of a person. And you other nations can't understand this. He's here for Israel, for the so-called Latinos, Negroes, and Native American Indians. He's going to de destroy all you other nations. You're going into captivity. You will be under rulership under Israel, under the Negroes, which, are the, which is the head tribe, Judah, all the way down to the rest of the tribes of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. The Lord is telling you, you other nations, all nations before him are as nothing. And he just told you in, in uh, Romans 2 and 11, he's not of a respect of a person. So he doesn't care you other nations that don't want to hear this or don't care, you know, don't want, don't think that you have a say so. He's going to sit you down. He's a man of war. All you nations, Salakia, all nations before him are as nothing and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. There's going to be war. He's going to stare you guys up in war, you nations. And he's going to come down and crack those clouds with innumerable amount of angels in that valley of Jehoshaphat. And he's going to destroy this place, man. Your nation, you nations are done. And you don't have to respect Yahweh by Shemiah Shai because he don't respect you. But it would be a good idea to bow down. You will bow down to the, to the God of Israel, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. The power of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Our power. Speaking of you other nations, let's go to Psalms. Psalm, uh, I got one more. Psalm 83. Psalm 83, and this is what we continue to do as far as uh, the servants of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Psalm 83 and 1, keep not thou silence. Keep not thou silence. Keep not thou silence. The Lord, he, the Yahweh by Shem Shai is telling us, Keep not thou silent. We're going we, we're going to prophesy and speak this word all the way through until they shut this down. No matter what you say, no matter what you try to do, Esau, we ain't going to keep silent. Oh, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, hold not thy peace, hold not thy peace. And be not still, O Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Why? Two, for lo, thine enemies make atonement, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Three, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. The Lord said, Keep not thou silence. Keep not thou silence. We're going to prophesy 
and speak this word all the way through until they shut it down. Day in and day out. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Barakatha Yahweh Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're going to speak. We're not going to keep silence. Continue to prophesy and continue to, to, to stay on fire day in and day out. So the Lord is a man of war and he wants war. There will be war. We're on a countdown to, to this days of war. For you people that got your head up your up your butt, you better you 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 better look around. Because war is coming to a city a city near you. But with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Hope you were edified. Till the next one. Shalom, Israel.